What's up? It's Tom, and I'm sitting here in the shadow of U.S. Bank Stadium. I uh, just wanted to talk about the two new twin signings. Uh, certainly not the impact kind of pitching we were looking for uh, heading into the offseason, but uh, it is what it is. The top free agents are all gone. I still expect the twins to be active on the trade market. However, Homer Bailey and Rich Hill, uh, these are two guys signed to, in my opinion, uh, good contracts. Uh, a total combined uh, guarantee of $10 million. I mean, both on one-year deals. Really, why not? There's nothing, uh, nothing to not like about these deals. The Twins needed some more rotation depth. And then, you know, if a player emerges, if Lewis, uh, Lewis Thorpe emerges, if Bruce Star Grotterall emerges, if any one of the younger guys emerges, it's really easy to move on from a one-year deal. Uh, so it gives the Twins some flexibility in the rotation. Uh, Homer Bailey, I bet you I've talked and wrote about Homer Bailey more than anybody this offseason. I promise I'm not his agent. Uh, <laughs> um, on Bailey, that's not to say I feel like at this point he made a ton of sense. He was a guy who I made, I thought made a lot of sense if the Twins lost Pineda or, and or lost Odorizzi as a potential replacement for that caliber of a pitcher. I think he is close to those guys. And in a uh, piece that I, I, I put together on here, I pointed out that uh, – Actually, Homer Bailey was better than both Jake Odorizzi and uh, Jose Barrios from June 13th forward in terms of ERA and whip. And then also I wrote about him in concern to Madison Bumgarner and pointed out that actually against non-pitchers, Homer Bailey had a better uh, slash line OPS against and a very slightly higher K percentage than Mad Bum against non-pitchers. So um, I do think a one-year $7 million deal, deal for Homer Bailey, why not? Uh, it's not the you know he's not going to sell jerseys, you're not putting him on bobbleheads. So it's I'm not trying to talk him up like a huge free agent signing. But he's a good guy to plug in. He's going to help them win the division. Um, he's not going to help you know he's going to help them maintain. Essentially is what I'm saying. He's going to help them keep pace in front of Chicago, in front of Cleveland. Uh, but he's not that big impact guy we're all waiting for. And like I said, I still think that they should be active on the trade market. Now Rich Hill does have the potential to be a very high-performance pitcher. Oh, since 2015, when he converted back into the starting rotation with the Red Sox, he has the fourth lowest ERA among all pitchers with at least 400 innings as starters. That's kind of the big asterisk, is that the other guys in those rankings have more than double the innings that Hill has over that time. He's been super injury prone. He's actually injured right now coming back from an elbow surgery. So given his injury history, given the fact that he's injured right now, and he's going to turn 40 in March, I mean, there's really no guarantee that he'll even pitches for the Twins, to be honest. But he's only guaranteed $3 million on a one-year deal. Uh, there's really no reason, again, not to do that. He Again, he's not that guy who is that impact pitcher that you, you were hoping the Twins to sign. But there's really nothing not to like about that signing. And again, when healthy, he's been excellent. But um, this reminds me a bit of the Michael Pineda signing a couple off seasons ago. Pineda actually had recovered uh, from Tommy John in 2018. And when he returned and was on a rehab assignment in the minor leagues, he hurt his knee. That's what prevented him from coming back that year. You know, Hill being in recovery, being 40, it wouldn't surprise me if Something like that happens, a longer recovery time, a re-aggravation, some other kind of injury. Um, so I'm not counting anything uh, from Hill. He's sort of cherry on top, like Pineda was in 2018, and it didn't come to be. He's sort of a guy that he's out there, you know, yeah, the potential is he could come back and pitch 75 to 80 innings. And if he does, I'd assume it's going to be good, and then hopefully have him in for the playoffs. But... Uh, we'll wait. <laughs> That's my stance. I'll wait and get excited once I hear the rehab is going well. Uh, you know, once he's pitching in minor league games, that's when I'll sort of start to get excited about Rich Hill. But he's a nice guy to bring into the fold, gives you another option in that rotation for potentially down the line. At really a cost that is just why not. Um, and again, he's been really good. The fourth lowest ERA among all starting pitchers from 2015 to 2019. It's just he's never he's never healthy. All right, so that's my take on the situation there with the twin signings. You'll have to let me know what you think. I still think they're going to trade for somebody. Am I crazy, or is this done? Are they done here? Let me know.